Well, hello YouTube, back in the shop. Uh, it's a hot one today. I'm sure you guys up, up north don't wanna hear it, but it's 85, 86 degrees today. So, um, so in the shop, finally decided to get painting uh, and everything. So we got our paint, we're getting uh, all the parts prepped, getting them washed down with acetone and everything. But uh, I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna show you what I'm doing today. I didn't bring the big booth out. I think I can paint this with the smaller booth. I'll show you what I got going on here. All right, so there you go. So on eBay, or not eBay, uh, Amazon or whatever, we got the, the Wagner paint booth. This is a portable. So I've got my saw horses and everything. So what we'll do is we'll just go ahead, all the trays, if you guys remember, they're on these frames uh, in here. So what we'll do is we'll take those frames and then we'll spray them inside the catch. So we don't have any overspray. And of course we got Mario Andretti driving by here at the uh, storage yet. So, uh, so we got that, we got our other bench. So yeah, so we'll use this as our catch uh, to spray. Um, had a set, minor setback, no big deal. I actually tested this out. This is a Harbor Freight. I, this is the Spider, which is a little bit bigger. So this is the Spider uh, spray gun. This is a little bit better one highly recommended or highly rated so i got this so i'm going to use this instead of my surefine my surefine apparently it gave up the ghost my professional one the, the expensive one so that's being shipped back being repaired so i got this one now i know this works because i actually sprayed our uh our hood for our for our kitchen remodel that we were doing with it and it worked out great so i'm going to continue to use this and everything so uh, it's just gravity fed so i got to be mindful of that instead of vacuum fed so yeah so we're going to take the parts we're washing them down with acetone now getting them cleaned up getting them ready to go and then we'll uh we'll get spraying these nothing major but yeah these little wagner power tents or paint tents are awesome for doing small kind of work so uh uh you know that that's what we're going to do so when you come back hopefully we'll have some parts painted well youtube here we go so we got all the parts painted. Everything that should be primed is primed. I will have to say the primer that we used, which is the Aero primer, I have to, it's back there. It's a two point, two part, um, did a, a really, really great job. This is, this is set up, it is super hard it's what I expected. You know, I, I do epoxy priming for boats and stuff and painting. And, you know, you just can't go wrong with it. It's just good, super good stuff. Um, and all the little parts turned out wonderful. Nice, nice thing. Now, let's get to the, I don't want to say elephant in the room. But as you guys know, I, I, I created these racks or built these racks on the suggestion of um, of another builder. And I will tell you, um, in concept, I know a lot of it is, is user error probably. A lot of these, uh, a lot of the wires weren't super, pulled super tight and, and kept the parts. But when I went to go spray them, the, the parts moved, you know, with the spray, because obviously with a spray gun, you're, you got a lot more velocity um in in the air that's coming out um will i do it again probably not uh it's a great idea i like the concept i think though i can do just as well if i just put them on a uh, on the flat on the table these parts turned out real well um i i just put them on the table put paper like i normally do and these parts turned out really well i wasn't fighting with them Obviously, you got to flip them or turn them over um, and everything, but that I did it anyways when I did that, those up there. So I think that's what I'm going to do. The other thing is I will build because there is a lot more velocity coming out of the guns, out of the, out of the spray gun or the, the, the gun. I will build a, an actual parts table for spraying. And basically what that is is just a frame with a wire mesh so the air can go through because what happened a couple times, well, not a couple times, almost every part, I had to hold it down with a with a pin or something, is that when the air hit the table, fly up, these pieces would go flying. 
especially on a flat, but they, you know, you, they have a special table. Or it's not a special table. It's just a, a table that you make that has um, uh, grating so the air can flow through it so it can't pick up. It just flows through it. But, I, I, you know, I, nothing wrong with this. I think it probably would have been better if these pieces were strapped down a lot more securely um, in the part. As you can see, they're kind of rubbing over there. Um, that was the biggest issue that I had with it. And like I said, is it worth it going through all this? I, I don't know. A great idea, great concept, but I just failed at it miserably uh, in execution. So I'm going to go back to what I know. And I'm just going to build a, um, a, a, you know, a painting table uh, so the air can blow through it. But I will tell you that, you, I don't hope the video, this is super smooth. I mean, it is just phenomenal how well that, uh, that covered and laid out. Uh, it's just, uh, yeah, it's just unbelievable. So, so that's it. So I, now I got the, 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 the the, the joy of uh, cutting all these pieces out of the frames, getting the tags back on them so we don't get them out of order. And then, uh, you know, the, yeah, then we're back into assembly, which is my favorite part of building an airplane is doing the assembly. So, uh, so yeah, stay tuned.